Hey everyone, welcome back, and in this episode, let's go ahead and take a look at the text area. So, let's go ahead and make our text area. Like so. Cool, and what I want to start now is I just want to store some biography. Right, so V model, bio, cool. So let's refresh. Um, let's again, let's actually make another div and let's make sure our bio is actually getting bound so we can see it changing. Cool. So what kind of interesting things can we do with a, a text uh, area that we cannot do with a text field or a select field, right? So main point is this resizing. So let's quickly take a look at style, resize vertical, right? So this will only allow us to resize it vertically. And if we say horizontal, right? This will allow us to resize it only horizontally. And if we say none, this won't let us resize at all. Okay, cool. And if we don't specify anything here, we can resize it any way we want. So instead of putting this style block here, you know, we, we, we will specify it by ourselves. So let's for now, let's put it horizontal. Okay, so we're, we can only resize it like so. And let's do something else. So. Uh, I'll refresh this real quick to reset it to its normal size. And if you can see, if we type in, we get this little scroll field here. Here, So let's do this. Let's give this a reference of text area. Okay. And let's create a watcher. And in here, we're going to watch bio. So we don't really care about the values. So I'm not, I'm not going to pass anything to here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this text area and we can do console log. And at first we're not gonna see uh, anything interesting. So not this text area, rather actually this dot refs dot text area, okay? So let's type something in and you can see we're getting the element which doesn't really help us much. But if we type in there instead, Let's refresh this, type something in. We can expand this text area and see all the different properties of it. Okay. So here I want to bring your attention to this scroll height here, which is 34. Now let's go ahead and make a little bit more so it's scrollable. So 34 and for the latest one, we have scroll height of 64. Cool. So what we can do, we can take the scroll height, we can go into styles, find the height here, and set it to this height some, somewhere in here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. There we go. So there's our height. So let's go ahead and do this. So this dot text area style dot height equals this dot text area dot uh, scroll roll height cool so again this won't work at first i don't think nope i think i actually might have set it to the wrong scroll height and let me see nope scroll height Let's actually wait. Let me clear this and let me refresh. Let me double check that it's all right. Sorry, I'm just derping around. I actually need to add the pixels because that's how styles work. Okay, cool. So now our text area is constantly expanding, and if again we are constantly expanding it. So what we actually need to do is let's delete this console line and uh, let's grab this. Uh, height and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to zero pixels right before trying to resize it Okay, so let's refresh now Cool, so now it's always Going to be aligned with our text uh, So if we resize it 
again if we keep typing it will always sort of align with our text okay so there's a lot of things you can do with um, this so let's actually um create a methods and we say on resize <clears throat> so we want to put this functionality here and we can go this on resize and let's say on mouse up on resize cool so Let me actually go in again refresh this. Okay. So it's resizing it correctly. And if we change the size like so, it will change it accordingly. A few ifs with this is if your mouse is out of uh, um, out of bounds here, it won't change it. But again, it, it, it's going to take a little bit long to configure it. So for the sake, uh, sake of keeping this tutorial short, I'm just going to focus on, again, extracting this into its own component and... Uh, uh, make this about view rather than uh, manipulating uh, JavaScript and CSS. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a text area field dot view. And again, same as before, we want to use scaffold. Let's go ahead and grab this text area. Let's make a div. Uh, again, we can make a label. Let's make another div with the text area here. Oh, I'll close this select field here. And again, we want to pass some props. So let's go ahead and pass um, label required false and type is string. Cool. Oh. And again, we'll copy this a few times. And let's say value required is true, type string. And let's say resize. So this is going to be an option. And required, we'll say false and type is string. And here, again, I'll just say text limit and I'm going to set it to number and I'm going to say right uh, that it's not required so I'm actually going to go ahead and my to my text field and uh, copy this input here and replace it here just to make it a little bit easier I'm going to also copy Well, I thought I was going to copy the styles, but oh, okay, <laughs> okay, I thought, right, I'm going to take all these styles, and I'm going to put it into here, I'm going to make them scoped. Uh, right, style with CSS. Let me just delete this. I'll copy these styles and I'm just going to put my here as well. Okay. <clears throat> and input, I'm going to replace this with text area. Text area, text area. Cool. Uh, let's remove this style right here. And I'm assuming this will be here the same as well. Okay, I'll remove this. So yeah, so all I did, I moved all the styles regarding to the text field into the text field component, and again, I'm just I just copied them into this text area here, okay, and I rem renamed the input to text area. Okay, cool. So uh, let's go ahead and take this watcher and take this on resize method, put it into here into the text area like so 
and here instead we want to watch the value okay and instead of v model we want to find the value and on input same as before we want to emit input and pass in event target value okay so format it nice let's see what this looks like and it doesn't look like anything because we need to import this so text area field take this component put in here and oops let me just there we go okay so let's make some do a label bio uh, the model bio text limit let's find this and I will say 255 and uh, let's we will have to utilize all right let's let me close the text because I'm getting confused now okay resize and from this resize here I want to make this style sort of Bound, uh, boundable, right? So let's go into compute it, and let's create a resize style. Okay, and in here we are gonna return resize, and let's pass in our resize variable here. And now we can go ahead and find our resize style. Cool. So let's test it like this for now. Let's refresh and resize is not defined. That's because I haven't specified this here. That's all right. Cool. So what do I have here? Input count again, computed. So let's say input count, um, return this dot value dot length. Cool. All right. So value dot bio. We actually what we want to bind is the value. Okay. Cool. Let's refresh. Okay, we're not getting any errors. It's resizing automatically. And let me copy. Probably is going to exceed it. Yeah, so we can go into the text field here and we can grab another watcher on this uh, uh, value that we have. Uh, let's copy this and uh, let's paste it in here. And actually, we can put it... Uh, no, we can uh, grab this resize and put it in here. Cool. Uh, let's refresh and again let's try to <laughs> let's try to fill this up and ah. cool. So it doesn't let us exceed it and here we have our bio. Cool. And we can resize it any way we want right now. And let's try to bind resize vertical okay so it should only be resizing vertically and uh, surprise surprise it does uh, it doesn't do us <laughs> much uh, benefit at this point so let's say actually make another field here and let's say auto resize and we'll say required false and I'll say type boolean and we'll do the on resize only if this dot auto resize okay is true so you don't want to place it here because again I remember that we are trying to on resize when we mouse up as well okay 
So now, because I'm not specifying on resize, it shouldn't automatically resize it. Okay. And if I want to make it resizable, I should be able to just say auto resize without specifying true or false. And Barabushka is working. All right. So, yeah. So if you have a Boolean value here, you don't need to specify a value. All you have to do is basically say, right, this is the prop. And once this prop is found, this value is going to be true. So cool beans, we have a reusable component for our um, text area now as well. And as always, thanks for watching. This will be it for this episode. Like, subscribe if you're enjoying these. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And as always, see you in the next episode.